The Atacama Desert in northern Chile has the highest level of solar radiation on the planet, making it the perfect location for the first solar thermal power plant in South America. Germany helped fund the construction of Cerro Dominador, which went online in the summer. Instead of solar panels, it comprises 10,000 mirrors that reflect the sunlight and divert it to a 250-meter-high tower. We use big mirrors called heliostats to concentrate the sunlight onto a receiver. The salts circulating through the absorber are heated up from 190 to over 565 degrees Celsius. The heat is transferred to a steam circuit that drives a turbine, and the turbine generator in turn produces electricity. The system can produce over 100 megawatts of electricity a day, enough to power a medium-sized city. What sets the facility apart from others is the innovative molten salt absorption tower. It enables energy to be stored for up to 17 hours a day. That's not possible with conventional solar power systems. This could solve a major drawback of renewables. Chile plans to be carbon neutral by 2050. To replace a coal-powered power station, you need an energy source that can generate electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But existing solar and wind facilities have no storage capacity. So there's a need to find solutions for storing the energy and guaranteeing power supply. Because simply shutting down coal-fired power plants is not an option. The construction and operation of the new thermal solar power plant has also been a welcome job creator in this remote region. And the company is keen to show the high proportion of female employees. The women featured in this promotional video stress that they can work on equal footing with men and that they're treated as equals, a situation that is far from the norm in many other workplaces in Chile. Songel Aracena started working at Serra Dominador in 2015. She's a technician in charge of monitoring the facility's operation. She knew very little about solar energy before joining the project and was trained by the company. I enjoy my work and I hope to be able to keep developing my skills here. Of course, it's a big challenge for me and my colleagues. But we'll keep going, because for us, it also means a secure job. She's from Maria Elena, a tiny town of six and a half thousand residents in the middle of Atacama. People here used to live off the saltpeter industry. But the closure of almost all mines in the region left jobs few and far between. For many people here, the new solar power plant provides hope for a brighter future. Sonjel also worked in the local saltpeter factory before later resorting to odd jobs to pay the bills. She raised three children, but money was always tight. Her oldest son, now 20, still lives at home. But now, with a regular income, she's confident that she can help him get ahead. We work really hard, but the moment we get paid, that's all forgotten. We know that with more money, we can take care of our families better, including when our children want to go to college. So yes, we're doing okay. Talking of the future, the technology featured in the Cerro Dominador project is set to be used for converting coal-fueled power plants into thermal storage facilities. The Mejillones plant, a two-hour drive away on the coast, will receive energy from solar facilities in the desert 
and then feed it into the power grid as and when needed. Turbines, transmission networks, and generators are already available on site. We've analyzed the potential for converting the power stations. And the positive thing is that we can basically retain all relevant existing structures. For people who live in the region, the coal-fired power plants are a vital source of income, but also an environmental problem. Repurposing them would ensure locals still have work, while at the same time improving the quality of the air and the water. Chile is a small country, but here we're realizing model projects for other countries too, and that's extremely important. Chile plans to decarbonize at least a third of its 23 coal-fired power plants, and the technology behind the solar energy storage is indeed in big demand around the world.